Wait a minute. So you've interviewed Olympic athletes and professional cyclists. What the hell are you doing in my house, man? <laughs> You know, for a long time when I was a kid, I always, I played around on bicycles, of course, but I always wanted a dirt bike. You just kind of have that craving as a young boy. You want it, you want it, you want it. You know, a few years on dirt bikes, turned into a lot of years on dirt bikes, couple breaks here and there. I got into street bikes a lot, motorcycling on the roads. And, you know, that was quite a bit of fun. Went around the country on that. When I moved to Southern California, a lot of people were mountain biking and I'd seen these crazy videos, people flying down hills. And I always thought, that would be awesome to do, you know, two wheels. I'm very comfortable on two wheels, but I couldn't, the price tag of getting into it was what always prevented me from doing it. Just, I thought a uh, handful of thousand dollars, that's dirt bike money. I'm never gonna spend that on a mountain bike. That's silly, there's no engine. And that's probably a big regret of mine. I wish I'd done it earlier because it is so much fun, man. It's unbelievable. So here's where I'll talk about the GoPro effect a little bit, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of. GoPro effect is when you watch something on video and it doesn't look nearly as difficult or nearly as big and intense as it actually is in real life. And Five Oaks, this trail over there in Aliso is a perfect example of the GoPro effect. So after, shortly after I got my giant stance, which is the 120 mil travel bike, not enough travel for that trail, which I didn't know at the time. I had seen a video of that trail, thought, oh, well that's pretty close to me. Why don't I ride up there and try that? I thinking, oh, I'm really good at dirt bikes. I got this. I rode up to Five Oaks, was exhausted by the time I got to the top and thinking, okay, I can do this. Looking down at it, I dropped in. As soon as I got to the first drop over this little rocky section, I saw the drop was really uneven and twice as big as it looked on camera and everything was twice as steep. I panic braked, crashed, fell right over the, the rock face, tumbled, got up. I think I did that three more times on that trail <laughs> that day. <laughs> and that was a heck of a learning experience because it was a big kick in the butt. I thought I was gonna go down that trail. I've got dirt bike experience. I've got a lot of experience on two wheels. I'll be fine and I just don't, just go for it. Well, don't even worry about it. That was a very stupid decision. Fast forward a couple months, I bought this bike, 170 millimeters of travel, you know, more than enough suspension for what I need, for what I like, because I really like the chunky stuff. I gave Five Oaks quite a rest. I did most of the other technical trails around here before I did Five Oaks. Just tried it about a month ago now, blasted it, went right through it, had no problems at all. But this past week, I just took a friend down it. A friend who had also heard of the trail, he'd never been on it, never seen it, wasn't an idiot like I was, didn't try to take a 120 mil travel bike down there after a month. And he's actually, he races motorcycles, you know, on track, you know, talented guy. A guy who's used to hard slams, okay? Like he knows a hard slam. He's crashed motorcycles at 100 plus before. So we're going down Five Oaks. We start, I'm leading, we're doing great. I'm slowing down here and there to check on him. He's coming, you know, every time I slow down, I just wait a few seconds, he comes up behind me, he's good. We got to this one section, I warn him of this big drop into this more chunk. And we go through it, I turn the corner so I don't see him, I stop, I wait a minute, he's not there. So I, I shouted his name, I said, Nick, nothing. And then Nick, you all right? Nothing. Nick, you all right? <sighs> Nick, you okay? One more time. And I hear, yeah, ish. Which to me, from a guy like that, who's used to motorcycle slams and who's you know been through horrible accidents and walked away, anything but hearing I'm good means you might be hurt. So I immediately unclipped out of my bike, started running back up the trail. As soon as I got close to him, he was coming back down on his bike and luckily he was fine. He came off the big drop, got a little too far right, got into the, into the, what do you call it? Just kind of like the side lip of the trail and there was no saving it from there. Just went and just threw him into the other side and that was that. Luckily he was fine, but it could have been a lot worse. So that trail, when it bites, it bites hard. And I don't think there's anybody that hasn't crashed on it. But for me, it was a big thing to overcome when, you know, a month into riding a bike, I foolishly went down it, crashed four times, four or five times, walked probably half of it at least. You know, fast forward to a couple months later, I'm, you know, blasting down it on that bike. Now, pretty regularly, it's probably my favorite trail. So, 
That was a great experience, learning Five Oaks. And if you ever get the chance, if you have the skill set to do Five Oaks, do it. It's an unbelievable trail, but just respect it and know that it's pretty darn dangerous. Mm -hmm.